All right, here is something new that I came up with using Autocrat and copy down add-ons within Google Sheets. So these are scripts that run and allow you to do a mail merge, use formulas within that mail merge to give you some other data, and then automatically emailing it to whoever you need to email it to using um, an Autocrat trigger. So I'm going to kind of show you what I've created. Uh, I'm using it for game performance assessment instruments in PE class for my middle school students. But the possibilities are, are great with this if you know how to set it up and if uh, you know how to use these add-ons. So the first things I'm going to show you, basic autocrat stuff, you need um, a form, a response sheet, which is a uh, Google Sheet, and then a template, which is a Google Doc. You'll also want to have a folder to put all your feedback into. So I've created this uh, folder within my Google Drive and it's got my template. So the first thing I'll show you here, and again this is a little advanced, so if you haven't done Autocrat before, try to keep it simple. But what I've done here is I have my observer. Uh, this is an image at the top. Uh, anywhere where there's brackets is something that Autocrat is going to use later. So it's a, a column heading. And then I got, you know, player name. I'm using a timestamp. This is also an image. So this is a rubric that I've just copied and pasted in here. And then I've created a table here. And again, these are all the things that are going to come from my form. So these are uh, the game performance assessment instrument uh, column headings, or they're the on the form. The other table at the bottom is going to be the calculations that I'll be using in my Google Sheet. So I've kind of just given a description about what goes into this so that my students know what they're looking at. Uh, and then these are going to be calculated using the Google Sheet. So that's the template. The form looks like this, and the form is pretty simple. So if you've created forms before, pretty straightforward. So title, observer name, this is just you're going to type it in as you observe. And then I've copied and pasted these names in. Um, from my sheet, and then we have uh, you know, six different things that they can fill in for skills, efficient, appropriate, inappropriate, and then support-based movements. So this is something in, in my classes that they're tracking using a game performance assessment instrument on a piece of paper, and then they're using tally marks as they're watching someone perform. Uh, when they're done, then they're gonna use this form to input their data. So when they come and input their data, their form will look like this. So if I'm an observer, I'm just going to put, you know, my name, and then I'm going to choose from the list of players. So if I'm watching Mr. Metcalf, and here's my data that I'm plugging in. Another thing that you can do if if there is a zero, you can just leave it blank. So I've saved you the trouble of making uh, putting zeros in there. Uh, it's just a little bit quicker. So I submit that. Once it's submitted, it comes into my, my sheet. The first thing I want to do is take this data and I want to input my formulas. And I've put my formulas over here on this sheet. So um, you can see from the top here what's actually in that formula. It's going to take a look at what's in you know, certain cells. If it's blank, it's going to input a zero. And that's so that when you run your formulas, if someone does have a zero in there, that it'll still do the calculations. If you didn't have the ability to change that zero, if it was blank, then it would give you an error. So it's something that I built in because I didn't want errors all over my, uh, my spreadsheet because that would just cause some additional problems. So I'm going to copy this, then I'm going to take those formulas and I'm going to paste them right here in this row. So now what these formulas are doing is they are taking a look at these cells over here that were inputted using the form, and then they're changing them slightly to, if it's blank, it's a zero. So that's what these all for these. So up in the corner here you can see if the cell is blank, then zero. So that's all it's saying. And then it's saying if it's not blank, then put what's in that cell. So that's just something simple I built in to avoid errors in my um, formulas. Then it's taking the data that's actually in those cells and then it's doing my game performance assessment instrument
calculations. So for game involvement, this is just a simple adding of the data in columns J through N. The next one is calculating efficient skill executions over total skill execution. So that's what that one is doing. And again, I just used if error. If there's an error in that calculation, it's, it's going to input a zero. Um, so I did, again, decision making. It's taking appropriate decisions, divide it by total decisions made um, all the way across. Now, the other thing that I've built in, and this is what allows uh, any, any observer or anyone who's filling out the form, all they need to know is the person's name that they're looking at. They don't need to know an email address. So what it's doing in this formula is a VLOOKUP. So it's looking up the person's name that was in the drop-down box of the form, and then it's referencing that to this other sheet that runs in the back. Now, in my form, I have the names here, first and last name, in the same column. If you have a spreadsheet that has first name and last name in separate columns, then I always like doing this just because it makes it simple, is putting in this formula that says equals first name and inserts a little blank and then enter last name. So it has just taken what's in this row and this row, combined them and put a space in between them. So then I just copy these and put it into one single column. Oops. Yeah, you gotta make sure you copy and paste values only. Otherwise you'll get, it, it'll, it'll paste the formula that's in there. And then if you wanted to add anything in there, you can, you can always just type in the cells as well. And then I just copied, these are all obviously my email addresses, but for each student or person's name, you can just put their email address in there. So what it's doing is it's looking up the player name and it's putting their email in there as well. All right, the next part here is where it gets exciting. The copy down function I didn't know about this until last week, so this is where I went on YouTube and I found uh, a tutorial about what this does, and then I and I and I tested it out. So you just get the add-on; it's called Copy Down. And then what this will allow you to do is it'll take any new submissions that come in through the form. It'll copy all the formulas that are in the second row, and then it'll apply them to anyone who submits a new form. So if you didn't have this function it would just insert a row and then you would have to go in and drag and copy down any formulas that you wanted. Okay, so I've brought up the copy down formulas function here. So when you bring it up, you can turn it on and what it will do is it will look for any formulas in that second row. So it's found all of these. So I just take a look, yes, yes, yes. I want all of these formulas to copy down. So I wanna make sure that I select all of them. And then I save it. The next thing I want to do is set up my AutoCrap mail merge. And that's where I'm gonna be using the template that I showed you before. And then anytime someone submits this form, the sheet will run the calculations. It will merge all of the data in the column headings that I want it to into this template. And then it will email using that VLOOKUP email function. So what I want to do, and I've already set this up, but I'll show you how this looks on the inside. So here's the name of mine. I've selected my template. So you just grab that from your drive. Here it is, I've selected that. It's gonna fetch the tags, the tags are the these here with the brackets and those need to match up with your column headings. So when you click that next, it's making sure that my column headings from my sheet match up with the tags in my document. And if, if it doesn't, you'll have an error and it'll tell you, you know, to match up the columns. Then I've put in how I'm going to, you know, name the files. And again, you're using the tags. So this is player name, game performance, assessment instrument, feedback, and I put a timestamp in there. Um, I'm doing this as a PDF. I go to next, and then it's asking me where do I want all the merged documents to go. 
and then I've already chosen this. So if you need to choose the folder, you click choose folder, so it'll go into that. I'll click through, and then here's where it asks you if you want to share the document. So I do want to sh share it with email, so I would click yes. I want to share it as a PDF. Player email, so this is who I'm sending it to. If I wanted it to, to send to multiple emails, I, you know, I would have to put those columns into my sheet as well as those emails into that VLOOKUP. But for right now, I'm just going to send it nice and simple to the player. Um, and so I've set that up. Here's my email statement. And I click Next. Now this is the trigger. So on a form submission, I want it to trigger. And so yes, I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to hit Save. So it'll take a moment to save all that. So now anytime someone submits something new into that form, it will use that data make those calculations, look up that email, send the email that looks like, you know, that it looks something like this. So let's, let's try it out. Okay, so now we're going to submit the form. So I'm just going to type in, I got my drop down, and then I can type in the data. And submit. And if we go over to the sheet, there's the new data. It is going to copy the formulas down for the new submission. So it's copied the data down from the above formulas. So that's what it's saying here, copy down all formulas. And now it's trying to run the AutoCRAP mail merge. So now it's merging, it's creating the file and then it's emailing it to me. And then when it comes through in an email, it will look like an official document here. So if I open the attachment, so here's my statement. Open it up and here is the document. Nice and neat. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So Again, it's got you know the images that I posted in, player name, it's got the timestamp in here, the rubric that they used when they were watching or when they were being observed, all the raw data from the assessment instrument, and then all the calculations that it did. So each student well, that's observed can get one of these pretty quickly uh, right there in class. So once they've performed, if they've been observed, in a given sport, and this is a volleyball one, you know, later that day, or they could if they wanted to, you know, a couple minutes later, check their email and see how their performance was in that game with uh, decision making, skill execution, support. Um, so this is another way that we can use peer assessments in physical education class and give the data to the students pretty quickly, uh, which was not possible before without kind of combining the autocrat and the copy down add-ons, which is pretty slick. So the possibilities of how this is used are, are endless. If, if you wanted to send a praise postcard, you could you know, set up the same, same, same thing with the email lookup, set up the template. You could put even drop down so a teacher could just select a student's name, not even need to do uh, the email because it'll do it on the back end, and then it'll just shoot out an email automatically to that student. You could email parents using this. You could uh, do all sorts of things. Anything that you need um, as far as l using a formula on the back end, uh, you'll need that copy down status to do it. That way when it's submitted and triggered, it'll send it out right away.